Thanks again for joining me here at Bad Skadoobie Gaming. Put up a like, subscribe, and here we go. We're diving into The Remnant 2. Rock and roll, baby! Save ammo, you know. Do some melee attacking, baby. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's go, babe. would know they've lost. They won't lay down without a fight. Oh! 
Oh yeah, big boy, let's go. The root mantis. Let's see what we can do. Just pound him. Come on, mantis. Good boy. That's so good. How do I do house? Dead baby, revive me, let's go. Thanks. Thank you. Dead again, baby. I don't know how many times I get revived, but we'll see. He's almost done. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby! We got the root ganglia! New material. You okay? And we got the Tome of Knowledge, plus one yeah, trait point. Practice. Whatever that is, we'll find out. This is my first time playing Remnant 2, so... Let's see how it goes! Rock and roll! It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? More or less. Whoa, whoa, let me get you some more. Up, oh, sounds like COVID. Give her a mask, dude. That looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone. We need to get her to the Doctor, that's her only chance. Up uh, quarantine, quarantine, stay at home for two weeks. <laughs> oh, now we get some tips. All right, we're at the checkpoint. The last of us meets Dark Souls. mayor thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone listen i'm gonna check in with ford and then i'll get some rest okay i've been through a lot worse you know
So, uh, traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Something on your mind, traveler? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He, he gave us a heads up someone was coming, and Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of, uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> And there you were. Wally, I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he, he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Oh, the kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root. Sees what they see sometimes, the... The past, the future, Whew. all that knowing, huh. it's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. <laughs> I guess, I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kind of put me in charge. Yeah. Maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. Oh, uh... Thanks? I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself? Uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that? Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. He's been around for ages. Oh, he ain't much for leaving himself. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. It just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. <laughs> I usually leave storytelling to Reggie. Or if you want some really wild tales, try Mudtooth. <laughs> now there's an old-timer who can twist a yarn. <sighs> Incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Between me and... oh, I, I, I don't... um... <laughs> uh, what? No, no, it's not... I don't, I mean, I, I do, but it's, it's not like that, I... <sighs> have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know, but... The way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it... It makes me want to do better. I... I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I... I guess you could say she's my... 
My inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't... Mm, don't tell her I said that, though. Lots of nice folks here. Talk to them, you'll see. Good luck. All right, looks like we're going to walk around and do a lot of talking. So bear with me. No, I can't talk to her though. <laughs> you sound so much oh, this I could probably talk to him, huh? Hope you stick around, stranger. I've got a good feeling about you. Ah, the feelings guy. Looking for Ford, huh? He is usually over in the warehouse. Your friend is in good hands, stranger. Welcome to Ward 13. I truly mean that, stranger. Look, there's a place for you here, whether it is in the garden or somewhere else, huh? Hey there, stranger. We, we're like a family here, stranger. Have a look around, meet some folks, huh? I hear your friend is sick. Now, lucky for you, Doc Nora is the heart of this place. We would be nowhere without her. Huh? Hey there, stranger. Hope you stick around, stranger. I've All right. Good Dialogue reason. starting again, so we're going to cruise. See what this is. I guess you can plant some stuff here, huh? I don't have anything. That first guy I talked to, I couldn't move the camera or anything, just so you guys know. That last guy what could. Did you say? Oh, is there someone back here? Hello? Are you over here? Where are you? Ah. Are you and your friend married? Do people even get married out there? What does getting married mean? Ma won't tell me yet, and I'm pretty sure Pa didn't tell me the truth. You ever met anyone who can tell the future? I have. He lives right here in town. Your friend's super sick, huh? What happened to her? Doc Nora can fix her. She fixes everything. Did you make that weapon? Mr. Brother sells stuff like that, but it's way better. Where'd you come from? I grew up here, born right over there. Did you make that weapon? Mr. Brabba sells stuff like that, but it's way better. Have you ever been to Yesha? Mr. Dwell's been to Yesha. He talks about it all the time. You ever met anyone who can tell the future? I have. He lives right here in town. Where'd you come from? I grew up here, born right over there. Have you fought any Deadwood? I wanna. Says they ain't around no more. It has a lot to say, man. What's this guy? Hey there, stranger. Your friend is in good hands, stranger. Nothing there yet. All right, we're cruising. I don't know. This kid can't talk to him while he's moving. I guess. Who are these two? Man, there's a lot of people to talk to. Let's get busy, Ford man. Looking for you. He's up top. If over you're the looking warehouse. for founder Ford, I usually hey, see him over at the warehouse. Just walk around the ward. Lots of Heard your friend here. sick. Hope she recovers. Welcome, stranger. Too many loved ones have been yeah, lost. Hopefully your running's at you an end. Look around. Yeah. Lots to see and Just good walk people around to meet. The ward. Lots of folks. All right, I'm going, babe. You check out the ward. I'm checking it out. All right, let's go. There's a ladder up there. Who's this guy? Oh, I want that mask, dude. Come on. No. Can I punch him? Yeah. He can't talk. Just call him Scribbles. He sells the armor, baby. 
Let's see his wares. I don't think I have any money. I mean, I just started the game. All right, merchants buy and sell items for scrap. Merchants in Ward 13 sell a variety of items, including weapons, armor, consumables, and even stew. Other merchants can be found within the game world selling a number of unique items. Yeah, 425, the Night Stalker Shroud. Now, I'm not going to comment on all these, but... So you have a whole Night Stalker set. Then you have the Bruiser Helmet. That looks cool. I can't change... Unfortunately, I can't change the... Uh, how it looks on me because I don't have enough money. I have 60. If you look up here, 60 scrap. You need 425 for the Bruiser Armor. And it goes by weight, too. And what's the ring do? When receiving healing effects, gain haste for 10 seconds, whatever haste is. Won't let me inspect. Oh, well, okay. I was going to say it won't let me because I don't have enough money. Yeah, so nothing about haste. We'll have to find out what haste is later. Then you got the whole high noon set. The field medic set. The night stalker set. The trainer set. All right. Let's go out of there. So that's our armor. What's this guy? He's over in the warehouse. I'm sure, he's got something going on. Always does. You seem pretty capable, stranger. You do fine here. Were you hurt out there too? Doc Nora can help. Lots of folks can help. Don't ask me, stranger. There's others in town who can help you better. Your friend looks pretty sick, but don't worry. Doc Nora knows what she's doing. Your friend just needs rest now. You'll see. If you need some medicine, you should talk to Doc Nora. If you need some medicine, you should talk to Doc Nora. Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know you're lucky they found you when they did. Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Like what? Listen, I don't care what you two are. I'm just saying, don't lose it, whatever it is. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. Let me know if you see something you need. All right. Then from Dr. Nora, looks like you can buy some healing stuff. Stops bleeding, regenerates health, extinguishes burning, removes corroded and effect and increases acid, removes overload effect, increases shock resistance. And then the medic pin, which gives us what? Doesn't really say. See you around, right. Traveler. Hmm. Back again, Traveler. See you around, Traveler. There's actually a question. Then you got this journal. Hold on, I got 572 pages to go. So you guys okay with that? Just kidding, that's it.
Hello? All right, I want to ask her just one more question what before we go. I have well, some questions. Right. What are you trying to say, sunshine? I can't move my camera, so. <laughs> well, no need for that. You know how a doctor gets good at her craft? Study gives you head knowledge, a necessary start. But it don't make you good. You learn a thing by doing it over and over again. For me, that means... Repetition is the best teacher. She just admitted it. And Sunshine, I'm the best damn doctor for miles. Because there's no one else around. My grandfather, he'd been treating folk his whole life, nearly as long as the roots been around. I started assisting grandpa when I was five. Dressing rooms, making meds, cutting at the table, you name it. Simple stuff at first, but yeah. You're old enough to hold a knife, then you're old enough to use it, he said. But how I helped him most was digging through the old hospitals. Even after a century, there's a hell of a lot to find. All of it useful to someone as clever as Grandpa. <laughs> Tons. The old humans knew a lot about the human body, it turns out. Stuff even Grandpa didn't know. Did you know they used to be Grandpa. Not Grandpa, Grandpa. Or put a dead man's liver in someone whose liver didn't work anymore. <laughs> to think of all the folks, Grandpa, there's plenty if you know what to look for. Most of the basic meds have long gone. But there's still plenty of specialized tools and ingredients there. Stuff no one knows what to do with but me and my grandfather. Aha, uh -huh. so the ruins is a place for good supply. That's why so many folks died when the root first showed up. Grandpa had to invent a treatment on his own. A treatment, not a cure. He probably wasn't the only one. I'm sure others came to the same solutions independently. But after Grandpa figured it out, he traveled as far as he could and taught it to everyone he met. I don't know where he started, but I reckon every treatment within a hundred miles of here is derived directly from his work. You can thank him that your friend is still alive. Came here maybe ten years back. My ma had died and Grandpa didn't feel safe carting me around the countryside by himself. It turned out good. The city's full of scrounge, and Grandpa made a living selling bandages and meds while treating folks for free. I do the same. He even attended the old commander when she passed. Couldn't do much for her except ease her going. The folks around here thanked him for it. Made us part of the ward and all. All right. You need anything? I'm here. All right, we're going to continue looking through Ward 13 next time. Put up a like, subscribe, Bad Skadoobie Gaming. See ya. Rock and roll.